recently what we had donated, uh, this series of vertebrae by um, Simon Carpenter. So he dug these out at Westbury, all in sort of, he's numbered them all, how he found them. And basically you've just got, part, you've got four cervicals and going on to the sort of dorsal series here. Quite interesting, that's a beautiful one where you see this, these neurals fuse really completely on that centre there. So that's, they're really fantastic. And he donated those a couple of three months ago. What makes the fused neurals so interesting? Well, up till last year, we'd never, countrywide, ever found the uh, neural arches ever fused onto the centre. Then all of a sudden, um, Simon came up with this one, these, which changed our perspective on that. And then from France, uh, from the Kimbers Clay in France, there's some really big dorsal vertebrae like this with fused neurals. And then lastly, James Etienne from, uh, where is it, Abingdon, has found a juvenile, it must be juvenile, pliosaur centre there with a the fused neural. So that's completely changed our whole understanding and, uh, and the evidence we've, we've got up to now on pliosaur vertebra and the neurals. Literature sort of said that um, everything had been found up to that time with, with, the, with the neural arches not fused to the centre indicated they were all sort of juveniles because they're comparing them to sort of plesiosaurs, the same family group with long necks and goodness knows what. And of course with those, when they're juveniles, the neurons aren't fused and as they go to adult, they generally fuse to them. So that's their sort of logic on that. So this is, as I say, completely changed our understanding now, pliosaurs, where even the, some of the juveniles have fused neurons. So, what you've got on the, these cervicals, you see, although these are crushed, you can see there's a raised boss and uh, on these dorsals here. But if you look on these <laughs> dorsal series here, which match these, they're flat. So there's not a lot to be gained from that either. We need to find more and do the comparison to work out exactly what is going on. Are these different sort of species and based on that? But look, there's a sort of intermediate one there that shows both. So I don't know, really. And then I've stuck some dorsal vertebrae. They can, again come from Westbury. Okay. And then we've just got the rib of a ply, so I forget where that came from. Ashes, cervical vertebrae we got from Wiltshire. And this one, which is not complete, by the way, it's a propodial, part of the sort of paddle di series digits. Um, that was donated by Philip Jacobs. That's a ply saw again, but I've cleaned it all up, air abraded it and uh, you can see the condition of it's fantastic. So that's the long and short of what we've got in here, but it just demonstrates um, pliosaur vertebrae, really, and some of the sort of paddle digits and goodness knows what. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and hopefully we'll see you next time.